And like my peers said, ours today really is to thank the people. Working with the Honorable Peter Wang makes my work very easy because he does all the work. He does not uh, consider himself ever tired or he, he just goes on and he wants everything done and, and done quickly and finished and excellently done and, and so he makes my work truly easy. So even in talking to you, <laughs> he has done most of the talking. I don't have to do that much talking myself. But I thank him and he's a blessing. And I thank all of you. Like the commissioner for, for sport said, today standing here and looking at uh, Mandela Stadium really is a blessing because you all will remember when we were here in June last year, there were so many things yet undone. There were many uh, things sharp and standing up and, and we didn't know how they were going to all be concluded and 
and make the stadium look normal again. But today, standing here and looking at all these, our national colors and looking at this stadium green, we are very proud of our Defense Engineering Brigade. We are very, very proud with the team that we work with and uh, we have no, I have no doubt in my mind that the works that are not yet done will be done and concluded and my prayer, I believe, will be answered because God works with us and uh, he covers us as we work. I believe that he will make sure that this work will be concluded in time. So it is a real pleasure and honor for me to be here on behalf of our sector, the Ministry of Education and Sports, but also on behalf of the government of Uganda to see what the project has become and to show the pride to you all who have been doing the work. And I want especially the Ministry of Defense and Works, of course, but the, 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 brigade, the engineering brigade to really know that we are very proud to see that our young people are standing up for Uganda. And as I was saying in Nachibu, it is time. It is time that we build Uganda and stand for Uganda and lift up this country because we can no longer wait. We have waited long enough. I was saying that Africa in general has waited too long to build this continent that God blessed us with, that is so blessed with so much resources. And yet, it has been the one so down that we are forever looking for others to lift us up. Now I think it is time. We have no excuse whatsoever why we can't build this country and give it the pride it deserves and give all the honor to God. So, mine today is really to thank those who are doing us this pleasure and pride. So, uh, yes, indeed, when we were here last time, it was June last year, and we had agreed that we would be here again on the 30th of November. But uh, I was saying in my very brief remarks that we say in our languages here, when things are not concluded as, as promised or as planned, we say viva o. <laughs> <laughs> viva o. So it didn't happen in November, but really we will not say viva o again. We want Peter to come back and, and, and confirm that the time we decided with this, this stadium is going to be concluded. And as he said, I honestly also believed that the 17 billion had come through the supplementary. I was surprised to hear our PS say that the money has not got here yet. So I will not let the Ministry of Finance sleep again until we have given us our money really because we requested for it in the supplementary. We got some of that money at that time. I don't know why we didn't get the 17 billion, but we are not going to let them sleep. The minister, my colleague, Honorable Kasaija, and the PSST, they will know that we are not doing this for ourselves. We are doing this for Uganda, and they must do their part also because without that money, you can see how much uh, we have delayed, so much that could have been finished. So we will not give them peace until they give us that money. Uh, 
and uh, I'm hoping that the PS also will not wait for the money to arrive. We just have to follow it up until we get it from them. And uh, now the maintenance team, and uh, you heard what Peter said, since you, you said we have the, the money, now the recruit should be done really because the, we, we, we were told that they require time to work with this team here now and uh, our expert who, who's here working with the, the brigade, the, the engineering brigade, to work with them for a period of time so that they know what to do. When these people leave, we don't want to come here and find the work like it was before. That's why it is so important that we get this maintenance team here urgently so that they begin to work with this team while they're still here and learn everything they have to learn so that they can do excellent work when they are the ones in charge. Um, so, we, I can only now applaud the contribution of everybody who, who's been involved in this work, beginning with the, brigade, with the engineering brigade and the whole ministry of defense, with the minister representing the ministry, and the PS and the whole team from the Ministry of Defense, from the Ministry of Works, and our own team from the Ministry of Education, led by the PS and the technical team. And uh, I must also congratulate again you for what you have done, the, the, the defense team. And we must thank the president, like Peter said, because without him, it would have been difficult even to get the funding that we have already got. So we must thank him for what he has done so far, working with us on this journey. And uh, with him, I, I, I believe we will get the balance that we must all work hard to, to get. Uh, finally, let me again thank my son, Peter Ogwag, for the work he does every day, for his education, and the excellent work he demands of all those we work with, and all of you here present. I thank you. I pray that God will bless Uganda, bless all of us, to see this work really well finished and the sports take place here in a place that gives all of us pride. I trust that all those other things will be concluded right on time. Thank you so much and God bless you all. The Minister of Education and Sports, Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs and Mandela National Stadium sign memorandum of understanding for defensing renovation stock upgrade of Mandela National Stadium at a total cost of 97 billion point nine. The implementation of the works is being undertaken by the UPDF Engineers Brigade in line with HD present directive of the Republic of Uganda. Starting 1st July 2021, all construction works under the sector of education and health be implemented by the UPDF Engineering Brigade. Ma'am, the project consultant is the Ministry of Works, and specifically Department of Public Works and Structures, who undertook design documentation for the ongoing renovations of upgrade, upgrade works and are currently charged with their to day supervision of the work through a project management team and a project implementation committee with the composition of the following ministries, Ministry of Works, and Transport, Minister of Education and Sports, Mandela National Stadium, and Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs. Mama, the project commenced on 1st 
August 2022 and was originally due for completion by 31st August 2023. This was extended to November, that is November 2023. Following your last visit to the project site on 30th June 2023, all projects works are, are currently expected to be completed March 2024. Mama, I am your foot soldier. Why, why March? As a Minister of Education and Sports, we are under immense pressure to have our games be played here at home because we are paying a lot of money to facilitate our teams to go and play our international games outside Uganda. So, I want to say this to the Minister of Defense. I work under the directive of my boss and I'm happy today she's here. How I wish we could give you the money and you complete the project by 30th of March so that we have the facility get ready. Mama, we currently, like I already told you earlier on, we have the Confederation of African Football Federation inspectors coming to inspect this project for one or two reasons. Number one, Uganda is meant to play Botswana 3rd of June and the inspectors want to confirm whether this pitch will be ready before that game and they do it three months before that time. If they find that we are not ready, then again they will not allow us to have home game hosted here on 3rd of June. That is a World Cup qualifier. So for that matter, we want to request that on 25th, that is Sunday, the team will be in this stadium to inspect both the stadium and Nachivuko Stadium. So I want to pray that the team of the UPDF Engineering Brigade accepts to comply with us when we come with those inspectors in the stadium. Mama, the current fiscal progress, like it has already been stated, is 86%. With the stadium re-roofed, a re-roofing we're talking about is all the iron, new iron sheets were put up there. Spectator seats are there fitted, grass planted on both the main and the training pitches, and now under maintenance and gold post assembled. For the running track, like it has already been said, general setting out and drainage system are completed with the surface alignment ongoing. While for the changing rooms, wall, floor and ceiling modifications are complete and installation of the fixtures and fittings are ongoing. The hotel block is undergoing general finishes, that is to say electrical, mechanical and fittings. Fencing works is 100% complete, including the general landscaping works. Technical details of the work security will, course, has been provided. Ma'am, I want to report again on the issue of sports. Future. You directed myself and Attorney General to follow up the matter. And I want to confirm that Attorney General is handling that matter and he had assured me that we will be able to win that case before the coming months so that for purposes of us, making sure that before the contractor leaves the site, we would have secured our land of any encumbrance on as far as that line area of the what? Of the fencing is concerned. So progress like it has been stated. So far, 80 billion, 138 million, 729 million, 141 shillings have been released by means of education to Ministry of Defense to implement the works out of the required 97 billion. This represents 82% of the financial, implying that there is a current funding gap, which I want to thank you, Mama. They might not know what you go through, I know. And I want to ask you for us to clap for her. Because Mama has been personally following and writing letters to the Minister of Finance. And I'm happy we got the 17 billion pre supplementary funding. Now what is left even me had thought the man had already reached the ministry's account onwards transmission to Namboli. But, Mama, I want again to thank you. The words of our PS are not enough. It is your meeting again with the Minister of Finance, which will help us to expedite the process of having that money released so that we complete this project. On another note, I would like to introduce to you, Mama, of course, I've finished that. And I want to thank them for the work they are doing the new board. Now, last but not least, 
Mama, I have got the following from the presentation of the general. Number one, it is true. Being here means that we need the stadium ready. And Mama, on your behalf, I'll continue to fast track regular fees for purpose of program works being on course. Number two, Pioneer Buses. Mama, I've received a letter on behalf of the Pioneer Bus Company by their lawyer. They addressed it to me specifically because I think the more I'm mounting pressure here, they think maybe I'm the problem. That letter I've also written to the Attorney General for us to have a meeting because according to the letter the lawyer has written, they are not refusing to leave our site. Unfortunately, they're beginning to transfer their problem to us and yet their problem is with the Uganda Land Commission. So, Mama, I wrote to the Attorney General and he had told me we are meant to have a meeting specifically to, for him to guide how the buses leave our side as a matter of urgency. I will follow it up on your behalf as a matter of urgency. Number two, future maintenance. Mama, the board and the management here has got money for wage to recruit staff. The challenge which has been here, we could not recruit staff when the stadium has not been functioning. What do they come and do? And government money or no work done. Now that we have a board, I've just been like discussing with the chairperson here. It's important that as a matter of agents, they are advertised. There are 54 jobs which are meant to be advertised for this stadium works to be here for us to get personnel. Who then we will help build capacity for purpose of maintaining this stadium to remain a functioning stadium for the rest of its time. So, Mr. Chairman, you've heard that we need you as a matter of urgency to advertise for jobs for us to recruit staff who will help us do work here.